Hello everyone, you're here with Claro Beauty and today is fragrance day. <laughs> you know, I have to be in the mood to try all these fragrances, but when I am, I really enjoy myself and I hope you enjoy it with me. If you've seen some of my other series of other houses of fragrances, um, you'll know that my descriptions are very unique and interesting. Uh, at least I think so. And when I say unique and interesting, they're very different. So <laughs> if you enjoy it with me, come along. And if you have any of these fragrances, please comment below how you see it. If you agree with me or what is your unique way uh, to experience a fragrance. Now, um, if you want to know what I have in my face, of course, you can look at the video. This is Lisa Eldridge, the new eyeshadows, uh, which I love. Of course, I use them all, so this is not a subtle look. You can always do a one and done with each of them, but I wanted to try them all, and I'm loving this look so far because it's very different, very disco, very holidays. So happy holidays to all of you. So maybe in the middle of the video, I'll change my lipstick to red, why not? But I just thought I would start like this. Let's see what comes out because you know, fragrance inspires and because we do, we can do a separate look to feel more French. Of course, fragrances are all over the world, but you know, for me, the capital of fragrances is France. So. <laughs> When I'm starting to try fragrances, I always feel as if I was French. Why? Um, because I live in Miami and in Miami it's hot and uh, we don't wear like the sweaters and the, when I travel, of course I do, but here, so fragrances here, you want something light, not very strong, not very complex. You want simple, more um, open, flowery or citrusy, but in a, in a very summer kind of way. <laughs> and so when I wanna experience this more complex, uh, I think a little more interesting sort of uh, fragrances, I have to get in that French mood. Um, which that doesn't mean that in Miami we don't use good fragrances, of course we do. I, never mind. just let's start with this whole thing. So today what I have for you is Mason Francis Paris. So this is the house we're gonna be talking about and I really, really, really enjoy this house and all its fragrances. So if you haven't tried them, I encourage you to get one of these discovery sets or you can go to their website and order samples. And of course they come, um, I'll show you so because I have done that as well. I don't have all the fragrances I have ordered from them, but they come in these little envelopes and then you open it, of course, it's a small size, a sample size. And I think it's like $30 or 35 for five, something like that. So very affordable. Um, so beautiful, the way, the experience of it. And then you can choose. You can choose what you want and you get credit for whatever you spend towards a fragrance. Uh, this discovery sets, I like the idea because you'll see they're much bigger. And for me to, to go through all of this is going to take forever. So, and you know I'm big in samples. Why? Because of that, because I like this variety and keep trying them out. If I buy the full size, then it'll never ending, right? So let's open this baby up. Of course I have opened it. I've had this, I think since last year, but they have, uh, now there's like two discovery sets like this. One is sort of like this, and the other one is for her, and the other one is for him, and so there's differences. But, uh, they they still have all these fragrances on stock. So if, um, and I think the discovery sets are very similar uh, to these fragrances. So I'll show you how they come. You see, see I have them almost for a year. And look, this is the one I have used the most. You can tell there. Um, I'm not actually a big fragrance kind of girl. I know, surprising. Uh, meaning that I go out with all this fragrance perfume, but I do it for the experience. I really do it for myself. And so now I'm sharing this sacred space with you because this is what I call my sacred space where I used to put makeup and uh, now I film. Now it's not so sacred because I'm sharing it with you, but it's intimacy, right? I mean, it's my special place. And so we're going to be trying all of this. Now, I also have three more. So I don't know if I'll go through all of them because then the video gets too long, especially if I go ramping around. 
Well, we're gonna try to do it fast. So this box comes with this beautiful explanation of each of the fragrances. And so let's begin. And of course, I'm gonna list them down below. Uh, I'm just gonna mention them real quick. We have Aqua Universalis, Aqua Celestia, a la Rose, Amiris Femme, Gentle Fluidity Silver, Gentle Fluidity Gold, Odd Silk Mood, and Baccarat Rouge 540, which is a mega favorite for many because it has that sweet, uh, you know, thing that you just fall in love and want more of it. <laughs> um, my husband and I, I agree, I love it to smell it, but not to wear it all night because we get tired of it. However, I know it's a favorite and I know when I go out, I can smell it sometimes when people are wearing it. So it is a popular, not inexpensive if you want the full bottle, but if you just want that, like enough, hey, you can have it. Then I have here Grand Soar, which uh, I've heard even YouTubers love this one. And I have Feminine Pluriel. And I have, what is this? I don't have the envelope. Aqua Vita. Is that one of the ones I already have here? Let me see. Um, no, this is a different one. All right, so let's begin. Where should we start? I think just to know how many we have. I, we might not go through all of them. Maybe I'll divide the video in two because there might be too much. But let's start with this one that I already looked for and online to know the, um, the ingredients. So we're gonna start with Aqua Universalis. And Aqua Universalis is musky floral citrus. Okay, Aqua Universalis. I hope I have them in order because sometimes I pull them out and I don't put them in order. So I'm gonna just spray a little bit. Mmm. All right. I do like it. Oh. It takes you to a different world, guys. I mean, this is the whole game with the fragrances, right? Uh, I heard an interview with an actress and she was saying that she had different roles at once, you know, like from one job to another and she was different characters and that her trick was to use fragrances. So according to the fragrance she was wearing, she was the character and that helped her get into character. I mean, I can understand that, right? I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean. Do I have to mention I mean, I mean, I mean? Mm. Well, you know, it's funny because usually I describe uh, this kind of fragrances as floral opening up, and this is not floral, this is citrus. So it's very interesting that part that I don't immediately went into the citrus. Yes, there is there, but to me, it reminded me of this opening up. And uh, the other interesting thing is citrus is usually are very optimistic, positive. It puts me in a good mood or in an active mood, you know, not in a relaxing, but more like let's go out and do or have fun or be outdoorsy. So this one does that, but it has that flowery um, opening up essence to it, which is more romantic and flowy and nice, not just active. And so I guess the description, uh, Musky, I don't know about musky, but the floral citrus, totally I get it. The floral, right? This opening up, romantic, beautiful, feminine, and then this optimistic activity, uh, citrusy thing that comes along. Now the main accords, they're described as citrus, white floral, fresh, musky, aromatic, and green. Totally see it. I think it totally agree with that. Yeah, the green, the outdoorsy, the um, absolutely beautiful winner. And is this the one that I have used the most? Yeah. <laughs> so this is one of my favorites for sure. Really recommend this one. All right, let's move it along. So the next one we're gonna try is Aqua Celestia. And it's described as a musky floral citrus. Oh, same. Now, this is very interesting because I think I'm not understanding exactly what the musky thing is. 
So I think I'm going to be learning with you guys this uh, Aqua Celestia. Now, I just pulled out the main accords. They're very different than the other one. But before I read them to you, I'm going to smell it first. So Aqua Celestia, definitely. This one already looks in a darker. I don't know if you can tell. This one looks more grayish, purplish. This one is more clear. I'm always fascinated by the colors. Um, yeah, this one is kind of bluish looks like. So I'm gonna spray it here. Ah! How exaggerated, right? <laughs> it's just a spray. I'm like, ah! Oh, oh my God. This is so gorgeous. I don't know why I haven't pulled it out more. This is definitely green. Maybe that's why I, I was going more for that floral, clean, of course, the optimistic. Uh, because to me, it's very useful to have citruses because it really brings me up. But this one is more relaxing. This one I would use more in the uh, evening, not in the evening to go out, but more, you know, even if I'm running around um, because the green doesn't upbeat me that much. It's more relaxing, flowing. And this one is still clean, open, nice. Uh, definitely makes me feel outdoorsy um, and the reason I'm kind of going is because you know Chanel uh, the big fragrance for Chanel is not number five right um, they just came with this Le Eau Chanel Le Eau or something like that uh, which I have in my vanity in the bathroom and that one I spray at night after a shower in the middle depending but it's very green it's supposed to be uh, kind of a more wearable or more youngster than Chanel number no. five. That's how they made it. And um, I, I don't know if I agree with that because I don't see the resemblance between the two. I know they go well together, maybe just a slightly, but to me that one is very green. And so this one reminds me of that style of fragrance. Don't get me wrong, they don't smell similar, but that, that kind of green, uh, clean, refreshing, just sort of feel that you can combine it with anything else. Um, now I usually go, what would I use it for? But see, these two are the fragrances that I would use for every day because they're just nice and pleasant. I don't think they're very distinctive, like, oh, I'll remember you forever uh, of wearing this fragrance. I just think they're just nice and clean and, and and comfortable and not invasive and if you're wearing it for you it just puts you in that beautiful sort of uh, mood all right enough of that uh, let's move on uh, the next one is a la rose so I'm sure it's gonna have flowers but let me look it up here to see uh, oh did I say the ingredients on this last one aqua celestia okay let me set them real quick so main accords, green, citrus, powdery, aromatic, musky, fresh, spicy, fruity, yellow floral, floral, and sweet. I mean, if you don't feel outdoorsy with all of those, I don't know what will make you. <laughs> all right, so let's move to a la rose. I'll be right back. Okay, a la rose. Again, different coloring. So we have, I don't know if this will translate. Let's see if I can put them in. Does it translate? The middle one is a little bluish, and then the right one is a little pinkish, and then this one is clear. Oh yeah, I think you can see there, right? So it's the first thing. I, I don't know why that fascinates me. I think it has to do, you know, the same as when you drink a good glass of wine, uh, you know how you first admire the coloring, and then of course you, you admire how the coloring uh, kind of sticks or gets into the actual glass. It's, it's a whole it's a whole experience. It reminds me also like in the or Orient, in Japan, you know, the whole, um, what do you call it? Uh, why do I miss the words? But uh, it, it, I'm not saying tradition, is this, uh, when you do a methodic thing, a ceremonial thing with the tea, it's the same thing where you, you breathe, you sit, you smell, you know, and you see it, you observe it, it's a whole, um, I can't, 
the word is keeping me, but I'll come back. You know, it's a whole experience process, uh, almost meditative um, to learn this. Uh, this is abundant, right? This is wealth in, in the sense of the experience itself. I guess that's why everybody just gets memorized into this wine, fragrances, etc. All right, food, let's, let's move on. When all the senses are involved, that's what happens. <laughs> and then it stays in your memory forever. <laughs> okay, a la rose, a la rose. So I'm just gonna spray it here. Okay, I'm not gonna freak out like us, right? Ooh, well, what can it get more feminine than a rose? Oh my God, this is beautiful. Immediately I went to like a sun, uh, dress sort of experience maybe a hat like just a beautiful woman like one of those paintings definitely not this type of makeup i would go more into the pinks and soft and, and things like that oh my god but this is gorgeous but it is sort of that you have to be in that romantic sort of mood i mean i would recommend charlotte tilbury uh, a la rose or what is it the the face makeup palette that is all about romantic and wedding like and i have a video on that if you want to check it out but maybe this is like that to get married in or to go to your first date or to not in a seductive sort of way but in a very romantic sweet beautiful uh kind of way and what the ingredients it has it has the main accords are rose citrus, floral, powdery, violet, woody, and fresh, spicy. I mean, in reading the ingredients, I wouldn't have thought of this now um, because, you know, powdery, fresh, spicy, woody, I don't know, but it, I guess those are the, the uh, cores that take you in the outdoorsy and, and because I, I, I can feel myself in a feel, in a feel of flowers, so beautiful. I, I just see all these colors. Um, the way it's described here in this is just woody floral. Ah, I don't, I don't know the woody. I mean, I guess that's what makes you feel outdoors. Um, I can smell the rose, and then I see time go, passes by, of course, the fragrances start shifting. Um, it just becomes more addictive, <laughs> that's the word, uh, more enduring, like uh, you, you want to go towards it. It's just beautiful. I mean, if I was in a meeting or in a, imagine, in an airplane, and somebody passes by with this fragrance, it will be just a... a kind of a thing of fresh air, you know, like you're like, ah, oh, like a like a cleansing sort of fresh air. <laughs> Just brings youth, youthness, you know, that kind of feeling, beautiful. All right, let's move along. And this is interesting because the next one is called Amira's Femme. Now that starts becoming more of a woman. <laughs> Let's see. I haven't smelled it yet, but oh, I have smelled it, but I forgot what it smells like. Uh, so this one is described floral boys luminux. So luminous woody floral. Wow. What a description. Let me pull it out and let me get the bottle. Okay. So here it is. Of course, I always look at the color, but now they're repeating themselves. There's, well, no, they each has their own color. I mean, I don't know if you can see, this one is a little more yellowish compared to obviously the bluish. You see that? And then the last one was a little more in the pinkish. This ones look very similar, but they're not. This is a little more golden. Oh, wow. This is obviously now we're maturing. You know how that I went youth and clearings and all these things. You saw how I got this one. Yeah, we're starting getting to more mature, more serious. Oh, what a lovely fragrance. I really recommend this house. I mean, I think I like this house more than all the other ones when we're talking about high-end fragrances, the complexity, the depthness, the beauty in it. 
Oh, I apologize for my dog, he's barking. There were some fireworks that were happening. Mmm, this is delicious. All right, so this is, um, the main accords are woody, aromatic, citrus, iris, powdery, earthy, white floral, balsamic, violet green. I mean, just listing all the ingredients involved, you see the complexity and you know that somebody that knows what they're doing are mixing this because uh, in order to find the perfect balance for something to come out and for something to be distinctable and respectable, um, yeah, it's a whole career, right? And a lot of knowledge and distincting and very good nose and have to have a good taste <laughs> in life. So this is gorgeous. I don't know what else to say other than I feel more mature. It is a little bit sweet. Um, so it is something that, um, you know, in other times I have describe it like confident and and being there no i i wouldn't go to those extremes these are very distinct fragrances so it's very unique i think you um the fragrance becomes part of you so what shows is more of you if that makes sense uh i i don't see a whole character involved with any of this ones even though i describe more of the space so this one is, is mature, but it's sweet. Um, maybe that's why I don't pull it out that much. I don't know where I would see myself wearing it. Um, perhaps in a trip, but it has to be Europe for sure. Like I don't, yeah, I see more the antiqueness or the history of a city and then wearing this. That's I think where I see myself more towards it more than outdoorsy. No, I find myself walking through uh, old, older cities. Um, yeah, with older buildings and more history. I don't know why my brain goes to like Budapest or <laughs> Poland. Or, I don't know why I go there, but that's, that's where it takes me. So there you have it. Let's move on. Okay. Mm. So the next one we're gonna do is uh, Gentle Fluidity Silver. And this one is woody, amber, and aromatic. So let me pull it out. All right, so we're gonna put it here. Mm. Oh, wow, this is nice. Now we're starting to get even more serious, of course. I mean, serious is, is a big word. I'm not talking like, tone for vanilla tobacco, right? That really takes you like, or leather, you know, very serious sort of thing. No, these are still in the fun category <laughs> in the more feminine category. I mean, I wouldn't consider this unisex. These are for her, I think. So the main accords of this will be aromatic, fresh, spicy, woody, musky, powdery, and soft, spicy. I'm seeing this soft, spicy in, uh, in most of this. Mm. You know, I love it, um, but it's not a fragrance that endures me. It's not a fragrance that I will be pulling out. Uh, it doesn't intrigue me. Um, I'm trying to remember because I have smelled this in more popular fragrances, like the Tom Hill was it Tom Hillary, Tom Heger, or one of those very sporty man sort of things that bring you kind of in a boat in the sea. Uh, you know, the ones that usually you see advertised with white shorts, men with white shorts, you know, maybe in a, uh, one of those boats with the big, what do you call the veleros? I don't know how you say it in English, it's escaping me. Anywho, yeah, very ocean-like, um, uh, very preppy, <laughs> elegant, I don't know, and nerdy. <laughs> yeah, intelligent, uh, beautiful. That's it. That's where I'm going to leave it. I don't know what else to say. Mm. All right, so next one, we're going to go to 
uh, fluidity, gentle fluidity. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Oh, so the last one was gentle fluidity silver. And this is gentle fluidity gold. So it's going to be very interesting to see the contrast. Now, the gentle fluidity silver is woody amber aromatic. And the gentle fluidity gold is flowery amber vanilla. Very different descriptions for sure. So let me look at here and let me write back. So we're again in the color, kind of more yellowish golden. And now let's spray it here. All right, so. Ooh, yes, very nice. This is smelling a little sweeter and I think it's going closer to, remember I told you the big winner is this Baccarat Rouge 540. The Baccarat uh, Rouge 540 is very, very popular. It's a bestseller. So this one, I get a hint of that. Of course, they're different. They don't smell the same, but I get a hint of that. Now, in the main, of course, I'm very curious. What is it that I'm smelling that is there? So we're going sweet. And uh, so the main, of course, is vanilla, powdery, amber, woody, fresh, spicy, aromatic, musky, so spicy, sweet, and animalic. So they're already calling it sweet. I definitely can see the sweet. And of course, if you add the vanilla as a main, main accord. Yeah, um, I, I keep looking for that word that it is caramelized, you know, when, you, when you're tasting sugar or caramel, uh, that kind of, you want more uh, sort of thing. Uh, somebody, I think I describe it as, you know, that cotton balls, the sweet cotton balls, the pink ones. I think they mentioned that for the Baccarat, some YouTuber, I don't remember now who, but um, I wouldn't go that far because I don't see pink at all with this fragrance. But the vanilla and the sweetness, yes. So very sweet, probably this definitely going out a night. Uh, it will be one of those fragrances that are distinct, uh, meaning it will call you up of, of the crowd. It, it definitely makes a statement. Uh, this is definitely not me. <laughs> I guess I go, I, I like a little more serious, a little more uh, mysterious or a little more, I don't know, um, elegant. I wouldn't call this elegant. Uh, yeah, fun, complex, gorgeous, beautiful, yes. I, I see a woman with a miniskirt or a tight dress and, and yes, it could be elegant, a, a little black dress, but it's still that kind of endurement. Uh, my goodness, this is so beautiful. I think, yeah, seducing, if you wanna go out in a seductive, but not seducting like, you know, fat, fatal attraction. <laughs> seducting just like a beautiful, elegant, young woman. Um, I'm sure um, the house mice and Francis when they hear me talk about these fragrances, they probably are like, ah, no, it's for everybody, you know, especially older women or, <laughs> I don't know, but maybe not. Maybe it is targeted for youngsters, but it's delicious. I keep smelling it. I'm telling you, everything that this house does, this is where it will depend on your taste, your mood, and your liking, right? And I guess how it goes with your body scent as well or your personality. You know, you know what I'm saying. All right, I'll stop with that. Beautiful. I would never think of this smell with this name, Gentle Fluidity. And especially, this is Gentle Fluidity Gold compared to the Gentle Fluidity Silver. The name, they seem very similar, but the experience of each, I think, is totally different. One more in the greens, and this one more in sweet. So, there you have it. So we have two more to go. Um, uh, we have, of course, the, oh, the one that cannot miss of a collection, which is the one with Oud. And so the next one is Oud Silk Mood, which is a floral, it's a woody floral. So we'll taste that. And then of course the big winner, which is the Baccarat. So let me get uh, Oud Silk Mood. Now, Oud Silk Mood is the darkest in color. Let me see. It's a little bit grayish, bluish. Um, 
So that's interesting to begin with, right? The experience starts and the experience is a little different. So now I have, where am I gonna put it? Here, I don't have anything there. All right, so ah, I'm putting too much because I should do like spray, but I don't wanna spray all over me because then I you know, won't be able to go by my day or by my night, it's actually dark and late. Oh, ah, okay. So, <laughs> oh yes, look how my mood changes immediately. Oud, you know what oud smells like? Mm -hmm. Oh my God, this is delicious. This is sexy, especially for a man. I like this fragrance in a male. Not this fragrance, but the oud. And of course, this fragrance, yes, it could be used for female and male because the oud is now like totally masculine strong. Although I usually associate oud with male, but oh my God, so delicious. Let me look at the ingredients here. So it does say it is for men and women. And, and that's what I thought. I mean, I oud, I put it to male, but this fragrance is, is so, it has some sweetness to it that it's definitely could be used for a woman. Um, so, uh, the main accords are rose. Wow. That's the main one. The one with the most is rose. Wow. Maybe that's what makes it a little feminine. Uh, rose. And then the second one is odd, floral, woody, fresh, spicy, herbal, citrus, green, and aromatic. It's very interesting because this whole house, this house so far, the ones that we've been looking at, I see this fresh, spicy in most of them, if not all of them. And this green thing keeps coming up, uh, but the fresh spicy, that's very interesting. And I see a lot of woody in throughout, not in all of them, but throughout. So that starts telling me something about the house itself, right? And, and, and how they value certain ingredients. So, Ay, Dios mio. Yes, oud with rose. I mean, just imagine that combo. I think they both do come across. I hadn't, I hadn't uh, distinguished the rose. Now that I hear about it, I can, I can recognize it. Uh, and I think that's what made it feminine and opening. So imagine an oud, which is very like, oh, here it is. Uh, to me, it, it reminds me like a wood. It doesn't smell like wood, but you know, like here. And then uh, like a strong oak, not because of the smell of the oak, but just the, the image of that kind of security or um, yeah, experience. So there's the oud, but then it has this openness. With a lot of other fragrances that I have smelled with oud, I don't feel they have necessarily. That's why they make them so masculine in my opinion. But in this case, that rose, it just makes it open up. And uh, and yeah, what a beautiful combo. So if you are a big time on those unisex sort of fragrances, and some of these have said for women and men, and of course this box is supposed to be usable, wearable by woman, because I think it's called for her. So uh, they all for women or unisex, but um, this one, if you like oud and you like the unisex experience, uh, this one is a, a winner, big winner. All right, so let's move on to the, dun, 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 you know, the most popular Baccarat. I don't know if you heard about it. The first time I, I, I heard, I mean, I was like, what is this? And then all of a sudden I found out that it's everywhere, it's expensive, but they sell a big bottle of it. I mean, I don't know who will wear this for a big bottle. I mean, I guess every day and just spray it. It's not an every day, but let's smell it. Maybe, maybe I remember it incorrectly. Um, so, and of course, my idea of changing lips, lipstick in the middle has kind of gone with the wind. So maybe we can still do it, right? So Baccarat Rouge 540. It is described as woody, umber, and floral. Doo -doo -doo. All right, uh, let me look for the ingredients. So the first thing I want you to notice, and of course I don't have the real bottles, 
This is the Baccarat. You see the red label and then with the golden uh, liquid tone, uh, the perfume. Those things, I mean, what a beautiful, beautiful, because see, the color is a little golden, but then imagining in a bottle with the red label, awesome. And then the, the Oud is this darker sort of bottle. So um, I show them to you because even that creates a whole experience. I mean, especially if you're gonna have it in your vanity, but even receiving the bottle, right? So this one where, if you begin where we started, that we're a little sweeter and nicer and more daily. Um, and then when we started getting to the floral, uh, La Rose, you know, so it, it just, it just creates the full experience to see the bottle and all of that. So let's try this. Bing, 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 bing. Um, you see? Yeah, here. Whew. Let's go here. And I can't believe I'm still standing <laughs> because, you know, fragrances can get you a little loopy. Well, I'm loopy to begin with, but. Oh, yeah. Indistinctively, indistinctively. You will recognize this fragrance anywhere you go. That's If that's not making a statement, I don't know what is. I would say like Chanel number five, you know, if you smell it, you know what it is. This is that kind of fragrance. If you smell it, you know what it is. Is, is that, I, I don't want to say strong, but it's just in your face, really. Wow, sweet. And now I am getting that, remember I told you another YouTuber mentioned kind of like a cotton candy? And I mentioned it earlier of, which one was it? I don't remember now, but the other one that gave me that sweet hint. Uh, this one does have that cotton candy. So this one, I guess, is even sweeter. Because the other one I said, eh, more caramel, vanilla, sweetness, you remember? Uh, I wouldn't say cotton candy, but yeah, no, now that I'm smelling, definitely I can, I can see that. So it is sweet. Um, and the main accords, woody, amber, warm, spicy, fresh, spicy, aromatic, animalic, fresh, and conifer. Now, the interesting part is if you read these ingredients to me, woody, amber, warm, spicy, uh, aromatic, animalic, fresh, Never would I have imagined this scent. And so I don't know how these ingredients bring this sweetness. Um, the last ingredient is conifer. I never heard of that, so I don't know what that smell like, but that is the last of the ingredients and it, had, it shows just a little tiny percentage of it. So I would be very surprised if that is what makes this so sweet. But what is it, the amber? I mean, because warm, spicy, fresh, spicy, woody. I mean, where is the caramel, sweetness, vanilla, or something like that? It doesn't say vanilla, so I'm just making that up. But um, all right, so let's get back to other than a sweet. You, I guess you already got that part. <laughs> it does have a lingering at the end of cleanness. So it's very interesting because even though it hits you, it makes a statement, it's sweet, is I am right here. Uh, I mean, I would hate to say I, I see a rapper <laughs> or, you know, uh, boom, boom, you know, something, somebody that wears a gold chain, you know, somebody that it says, I'm right here, I'm right here, baby. <laughs> That's what it reminds me of, of course, in a, in a woman. I do see, yeah, a strong woman that is saying I'm right here and, and I own it. You have to own it. Um, uh, it's very lovely. Like I, I wouldn't consider somebody that is shy to wear it, but hey, maybe. Or maybe one of those that you see that are very shy and they look like they don't do anything, but then they do everything. <laughs> I mean, because... You see how much a scent can talk about a person? I'm serious. Yeah, it's, it's very lovely. It's a big winner and for sure to go out and um, it will be distinctive. 
and I have wear it to go out, but I don't think I would again because it's too much for me. And I wore it because I, it was the best seller and I thought I was gonna, you know, my husband was gonna be happy, but he was not. <laughs> he also thought it was too much. So I don't know what sounded there, scare, scare me. All right, so I think I've been rambling uh, forever and I think I'm gonna end it here. I have the grand, I have three more, but I'll make a short one with those three. At least I went through the whole discovery set. And again, there's other two discovery sets. I think one is for a man, for him, and then there's another one. So there's three. They are sold out, but then they bring them back and you can find them in different stores. I think I got this in Newman Marcus or in Saks Fifth Avenue or one of those big department stores. But if you just put it online and of course you can go directly to the, to the house um, website and I will put it down. The Mason, Mason Francis Kirk Yand Harry's. And again, you can also order the samples. Very easy, very simple. Uh, thank you very much. This is the time that I ask you to please subscribe to my channel, uh, to ring the bell in the right hand corner, to comment, suggest, and let me know if you know this house, if you own any of these fragrances, and what is your opinion? What do you think? What is your descriptions? Uh, I will, I would love to, to hear from you. Thank you very much for watching. Again, if you want to see this look, look, I still have the swatches in my hand. Lisa Eldridge, I'll put the video down below. Thank you very much. Happy holidays. See you next time. Bye.